Democratic Congressman Pete Aguilar of California. Um, I imagine there was some considerable discussion about this uh, request. Um, why do you think this is justified? And, and what do you say to people that, that, that view this as a, a provocation or escalation? Well, we lay out the case in the letter, and what Chairman Thompson indicates in the letter is that we know, uh, just like you indicated, based on public reporting, that uh, the minority leader had conversations with the former president as well as members of the former president's team leading up to January 6th. Uh, he was aware of their strategy uh, to challenge the outcome of a free and fair election. Uh, he, in addition to January 6th itself, the, the numerous conversations and text messages uh, that were bandied about, uh, those are all relevant to our investigation. What was the president doing during this 187 minutes that he didn't call off the rioters who were uh, coming into the Capitol for Kevin McCarthy and for us on the House floor? Uh, what was he doing? Uh, what was his mindset? Those are the questions that are worth answering, uh, in addition to after January 6th, uh, from security questions that uh, Leader, Leader McCarthy asked to uh, his conversations with the former president himself. Uh, those are all within bounds, and most of those are within the public domain uh, that we've indicated, but we feel that this is important for the sole purpose that no member of Congress is above the law. If we're all committed to democracy, if we're all committed to the constitutional oath that we took, uh, then members should be coming forward. Uh, and McCarthy said himself, sure, he'd come forward. Um, so we'll see. Yeah, let me just play that. We played it in the open when I plan again. Now, this was when uh, what looked like what would happen would be a commission would be in panel that might request his testimony. He was asked this question. Uh, take a listen real quick. Would you be willing to testify about your conversation with Donald Trump on January 6th if you were asked by an outside commission? Sure. You next would. question. Sure. Next question. Um, there's already some precedent here. So you've got Scott Perry and Jim Jordan who've been been asked to voluntarily come in and share what they know with the committee. Uh, they have both said they're not going to do that. Um, what do you do about that? I mean, uh, th 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 there's talk about subpoenas, but... The subpoenas, I think, would be um, fairly uh, innovative. I, I don't know if that's happened before. Usually, Congress members just cooperate with congressional inquiries. How are you gaming this out? Well, if they were committed to, to protect the Constitution, they would come before us. But as you indicated, uh, they've indicated for a variety of reasons, uh, some nonsensical, uh, that they don't want to come before the committee. Um, in the case of Mr. Jordan and, and Mr. Perry, uh, clearly uh, they were communicating with the White House and the former president about the strategy to overturn uh, the free and fair election. And so uh, that's problematic uh, to them. Um, so it's unfortunate. Um, there are other tools that we have. Uh, Chairman Thompson has said that we're uh, reviewing those. Uh, if we have things to share, we will share those. Uh, but at its core, I think our appeal is to our colleagues. If we're committed to this institution, if you're committed to making this place work, to protecting and promoting democracy, um, then we have to stand against overturning free and fair elections at a minimum and, uh, and stopping a peaceful transfer of power. And the fact that they were uh, coordinating uh, in those efforts is, is deeply troubling. And the fact that they don't want to talk about those efforts now and join efforts to whitewash history uh, is, is troubling to a lot of us. As a member of the committee, how would you characterize where you are in the work, the arc of this, how much you've learned and how much further there is to go? Well, we're in the investigative stage right now. Uh, so there are depositions, uh, transcribed interviews, uh, and discussions uh, that are happening daily. Uh, there was uh, hours and hours of those discussions today itself. So, you know, we continue to make progress and we continue to hear things that are helpful to our investigative efforts. We're piecing those things together. We're connecting the dots. We're having more and more conversations, over 300 so far, uh, and we're making significant progress. The next phase will be the more public phase that we do, uh, and that's when we'll share these results with the American public. All right. Um, when should we expect that? Well, I'll let Chairman Thompson uh, detail some of uh, some of that timeline. Um, but in the foreseeable future, we definitely want to share some of uh, what we find uh, and some of uh, the conversations that we are having uh, in a public domain, uh, hopefully, um, where more Americans uh, can watch uh, and learn uh, what we have learned about the importance of protecting democracy.